off in the last video so this is the one that we we painted up um, and added the uh, the weathering and the the weeds and I've also since added a piece of Metcalf uh, brick card uh, to represent the actual um, uh, inner portal so that will be going on to the, uh, the tunnel uh, once we've applied the um, the base coat for the uh, scenics so we're going to use the uh, WWS basing glue so I'm going to paste that all over the, the tunnel mouth and um, and then we'll apply the first coat of scenics okay it's quite actually difficult working here on the layer because it's about as far away as I can just about reach um, which is quite unfortunate, but this is uh, this is how it is, and uh, as I say I have to uh, work at a stretch. So it's the first time I've actually used this basing glue. So we're now going to apply the uh, first coat of the uh, scatter. So this is a mix of uh, Woodland Scenics um, fine, fine green and uh, mixed turfs. Okay, so uh, the first coats uh, are dry, dried with the uh, basing glue, so we're going to apply the second coat now, which is the static grass. So I'm using the uh, WWS Pro Grass uh, Micro, and in here we've got 4mm um, uh, Summer, which is a WWS product. I'm just going to apply the uh, static grass layering spray. So this will just be over the, the tunnel portal. So I've hoovered off the, uh, the first coat extra, which wasn't required, so I've got a good spray. So I'm now going to apply the um, first coat of static grass. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so that's the, the first layer on. So I'll just reload the uh, the hopper, and uh, we can apply the next uh, colour, which will be. Um, a four millimeter uh, dead, I think. So we'll give that a try. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. What I am going to do though is just finish off with um, some 4mm patchy, again 
another WWS product. I'll just try and blend this into those two uh, areas. So I'm being selective where I'm actually putting the, uh, the layering spray. So just trying to get different uh, blends in there. So I think that's quite uh, quite effective. I'm not really getting much of the static grass around where the tunnel portal fits here and down this side. So I'm going to cover those up with uh, bushes. It's really difficult to get the uh, static grass on um, a vertical surface. But uh, yeah, I think from, from here that looks uh, pretty good. So uh, we'll move on to the, uh, the next stage. Okay, so the next part, I'm just gonna cover this banking area um, with, uh, with some more static grass, just to blend it into what uh, we've got on the tunnel portal. So for this, Using a new product, I've not used this one before. This is the WWS 2mm Muddy. So, lots of good uh, reports about this. So, let's see how it looks when we put it on the, uh, on the banking. on just a light coating just to tone down the uh, the green so just highlighted in more some areas more than, than others so uh, yeah quite happy with that sometimes better just to step back and uh, uh, take stock and then come back and uh, and have a look at it uh, afterwards. Okay, we'll leave it there. So I'm pretty happy now with the uh, static grass. So I'm now going to glue into place the tunnel portal. So I'm just going to use some uh, standard PVA glue. So I'll just put some on the, uh, the base. Fit that into place. Being careful not to get any on the uh, the track, he says. Just making sure I've got enough uh, track clearance there. We'll let that dry, and then we'll uh, fill in the gaps. Okay, come back shortly. So now we've got the uh, static grass in place and the tunnel portal. I've just done the first um, cover up of the gap on, on the left hand side of the portal and uh, I'll show you what I did now uh, to cover that up. So I'm, I'm basically using this product which is the uh, Woodland Scenics Polyfiber. As you can see it's like a very thin wool type uh, material. So you just pull that off in in, in clumps and then just shape it um, to where you want it to go. So I'm going to put a couple of pieces uh, in the corner uh, and also one running down the side of the, uh, the side of the uh, tunnel. So basically I'm just going to apply some blobs of PVA and then I'm going to push that into position. I'll spread that out. I 
Okay. So these act as sort of uh, uh, vines. So that's that one, and I'll put one at the uh, side of uh, down the side of the tunnel. So a bag of this will will make you uh, lots of vines. So I'm going to put the next piece down the side of the tunnel. Careful not to get in glue and so forth on the track on the portal let's move that into shape and then the, uh, the final bit is to use some of the static grass layering spray so I'm just going to cover up the uh, portal and uh, just spraying let's give it a good soak with the layering spray and then I'm going to use uh, medium green coarse turf T64 so and then you just sprinkle and spread this over the top. So just to close off the video, uh, a couple of days on now since uh, I filmed the last part of the uh, the video. So as you can see, I've added um, a bit more foliage, uh, weeds and bushes over the top of the, uh, the tunnel mouth. I've also finished the banking off embankment, uh, added some more weeds and foliage and uh, a dry stone wall at the back and also added my homemade trees which are sea foam trees which I've uh, um, painted and add, uh, added the leaves etc so we'll, we'll cover both those in hopefully in a later video uh, just had to stop here with the embankments as I've run out of uh, layering spray so hopefully that will arrive soon in the, uh, the post and then just to finish that side of the layout it will be on to um, uh, ballasting this part of the track and I can then move on into the uh, engine shed area and the goods yard and then onto the station so whilst I'm waiting for my layering spray I've, uh, I've been busy just cutting out these um, plywood sections for the station uh, so I've decided what I'm doing there now with the tops and the sides so again Another video on that uh, later on so yeah lots to do um, if you're new to the channel please uh, subscribe uh, if you're one of the uh, my uh, hundred subscribers I'd like to thank you for that uh, that's fantastic hundred subscribers in just over a month so really chuffed to bits with that 
and uh, yeah carry on uh, viewing the channel and goodbye from settle carlisle 68 and hopefully see you soon thanks again bye